Good day, students. This is Teacher Edwin once again, and I am here to present to you the following lessons that we will be learning for next week. For Grade 3, we will be going to learn Add Mentally. For Grade 4, we will be going to learn Estimate the Sum. For Grade 5, we will be going to learn Prime Factorization. And for Grade 6, we will be going to learn Convert Customary Measurement Units. All of this topic we will be going to discuss for next week. So, for this long weekend, I would like you to make an advanced study so that you will be prepared for next week's lesson. Good day, Grade 3. Today, we will be going to learn Add Mentally. I have an example here. 453 plus 326. There are different ways on how you are going to solve this one. And I will be going to give you the expanded form ways. First, we are going to separate each value from ones, tens, and hundreds. So let us put 400 plus 50 plus 3 plus the other add ends 300 plus 20 plus 6. After putting the expanded form, let us add each part from ones, tens, and hundreds. 3 plus 6 will be 9. 50 plus 20 will be 70. 400 plus 300 will be 700. After finding the sum of each value, we will be going to add all the numbers. 700 plus 70 will be 770. Plus 9 will be 779. And that's the other way of adding numbers using expanded form. Good day, grade 4. Today, we will be going to learn estimate sum. Estimating a sum, it is a quick way to estimate the sum of two numbers is to round each number and then add the rounded numbers. This probably won't be the exact answer, but it may be close enough for some purposes. Example, I have 5,619 added to 2,934. In order for you to run this one, let us round the numbers to the greatest place value. The greatest place value is 5, followed by 6. So therefore, 5,619 will be rounded up to 6,000. The other add is 2,934. The greatest place value here is 2,000, followed by 9. So 2,000 will be rounded up, and it will become 3,000. And we are ready now to find the sum of the rounded numbers. So, put down all the three zeros, the comma, and add 6 plus 3, and it will give you 9. Let us find the sum of the actual number. 9 plus 4 will be 13. Put 3 down and the tens up. 1 plus 1 will be 2. 2 plus 3 will be 5. 6 plus 9 is 15. Put the 5 down and the tens up. 1 plus 5 is 6. 
6 plus 2 is 8. Look at the actual number and the rounded one. They are close to each other, so therefore, that is the estimated answer. Good day, grade 5. Today, we will be going to discuss prime factorization and a prime number. Prime factorization is finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original number. A prime number can only be divided one by one or itself, so it cannot be factored any further. Every other whole number can be broken down into prime number factors. It is like the prime numbers are basic building blocks of all numbers. Example, let us find the prime factorization of the number 36. Always remember, you have to find the factors and until we reach into the prime number. Factors of 36, we do have 12 times 3. 3 is a prime number, so 12 can still be factored. Factors of 12 are 6 and 2. 2 is a prime number. 6 can still be factored. Factors of 6 are 2 and 3. So the two last numbers are both prime numbers. So these are the factors of number 36. Let us write. We do have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Or we can simply write two twos or two squared multiply three squared it means that you have two threes hello grade six today we will be going to discuss convert customary measurement units customary system a customary system of measurement is defined as a set of weights and measures used for measuring length, weight, capacity, and temperature. Based on the English system of measurement, a unit ratio is a ratio in which the first quantity is compared to one unit of the second quantity. Each of the conversions can be written as unit ratios. Some examples of unit ratios are shown. From inches to feet, Fit to yards, fit to miles. Inches to fit, we have 12 to 1. Fit to yards, we do have 3 to 1. Fit to miles, we do have 5,280 to 1. You have to remember that in customary conversions, we do have larger unit and smaller unit. One foot is equivalent to 12 inches. One yard is equivalent to three feet. One mile is equivalent to 5,280 feet. Customary conversion units for weight. We do have one pound is equivalent to 16 ounces. One ton is equivalent to 2,000 pounds. The customary conversion units for capacity. One cup is equivalent to eight fluid ounces. One pint is equivalent to two cups. One quart is equivalent to two pints. And one gallon is equivalent to four quarts. So those are the different customary conversion units of length, weight, and capacity.